Senior Design Team 23, Spring 2023 Warehouse. I'm Sam Kovnar. Uh, my subsystem is the communication subsystem. I'm Sam Hild. My subsystem is the power and output uh, subsystem. My name is Alex Burrows. I am working on the web application subsystem. I'm Will Oberly, and I'm doing the sensor subsystem. The warehouse is an automated inventory management system. It consists of a network of Wi-Fi enabled devices with a central server. Devices will determine stock based on item weight and item configuration, which will be received from the server. Our first demonstration consists of powering on a warehouse unit. Here we can see a warehouse unit outside of its casing, with the raw PCB exposed. Just after startup, we can see that the green and red power LEDs are both on, indicating that the board is receiving 12 volts from the wall power supply and successfully converting it to 3.3 volts. After powering on, the warehouse unit refreshes its display to show a startup message. After performing some basic communication with the Wi-Fi module, this message is updated to indicate that the unit is attempting to connect to Wi-Fi. Once Wi-Fi connection is established, the message is replaced by the item name. You might have noticed that although the scale is currently empty, the quantity listed is not zero. This is an easy fix. Each warehouse unit is equipped with buttons to manually change the quantity level. In this case, we will use the clear button. Warehouse units also feature buttons to manually increment and decrement quantity. As you can see, all buttons are working as expected. This warehouse unit has been calibrated to store circuit boards, which weigh about 55 grams each. When I place two circuit boards onto the scale, it detects the change in weight and updates the display. This information will also be relayed to the server. When the boards are removed, the quantity returns to zero. Before a warehouse unit can begin operations, each unit must be linked to a central Wi-Fi network shared by the server. If a unit fails to connect to Wi-Fi, it will launch an access point, which can be found with a mobile device as shown in this demonstration. This unit's device ID is 3, so the access point shows up as Warehouse Unit 3. Once I'm on the correct Wi-Fi network, I can access the device's configuration page from a browser. Using this access point, a user can provide connection information to the Warehouse Unit directly. This unit will remember the provided information. Next time it restarts, it will use this information to connect to Wi-Fi without user intervention. Warehouse units periodically transmit their current stock to a central server. By accessing this server on a computer or phone on the same network, I can view the current stock of all active units. If desired, I can also view the transmission history of all active units. In addition to sending stock data, each warehouse unit periodically polls the server to make sure that its configuration is up to date. Here we can see a warehouse unit polling the server and updating its configuration. The item name changes to signify the update is complete. 
this whole process can be done remotely without the need for wires or programming. QR codes can be used to change warehouse unit configurations. The warehouse server supports this functionality by reading two QR codes sequentially, one to identify the device and one to identify the item to be placed on the device. QR code reading is intended for use on mobile devices, but can also function on computers that are connected to the web app. As you can see, the database has been updated with the new configuration, and the warehouse unit will receive the new configuration on its next poll.